Hi, this is the Deck Network, and I'm your host, Mike Danzolio, where on the Deck Network, it's all decks all the time. Today we're going to talk about Trex, decking, railing, and a little bit about their Rain Escapes product. Let's give a little background information. Trex was the pioneer of the alternative decking and railing industry back in the early 90s. I remember using this decking years and years ago, and it was certainly interesting at the time. But with all products, there are some growing pains on it, so they've taken some time to figure out how to get it to the product that it is today, but it's a very good, strong, reliable product. So let's get into the decking. What I like about how the, the Trex marketing strategy is their, uh, the, you employ the good, better, best sales strategy. So their good product being the Trex Accents, so this is the accents in saddle color, Madeira, Woodland Brown, and Winchester Gray. It's a wood composite, so you're gonna get some fading, staining, and molding. And some of these products have been pushed out because some of these newer products that they have, they've been able to have a price point that is very similar to that of the wood composites. So that would be their better product. And how they, be, they these products are a little bit better is they use the same wood composite in the core and they cover it with the polyethylene and their proprietary additives. Polyethylene has better properties for decks than any of these other plastics because it's virtually fade resistant. It's color fast and it doesn't have, it doesn't stain, so it's not, it's, it, it's almost uh, non-porous, so you're not gonna get the, any of the stains absorbing in these. So this is their, uh, their better line, good, better, best. This would be the better line. They have the, uh, the clamshell is the gray, and their dune color, which is their brown, has the nice grain pattern. These products are showcased at the uh, big box stores, Home Depot and Lowe's. Uh, so you can look for those there. Now onto their the Trex Transcend, which in their three tier good, better, best. This is their considered their best product, and they have two styles of it. Their solid colors, uh, their standard Transcend colors. It has a nice deep grain pattern. People ask me, are they looking for a slip resistant decking? Now all decking decking is tested for slip, but this has a little deeper grain on it's almost like a tire so you're going to get better traction especially maybe around a pool so this one is their fire pit color their vintage lantern color the treehouse color the uh, rope swing color and the gravel path color again has a nice deep grain on it so it's, it, has, it uh, gives some good traction. They also have it in uh, these same five colors. They come with the uh, in a two by six profile. They, 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 they say that it will span two foot on center. So that's the, the two by six. You can use, use this on the railings also. We'll talk about that in a few moments. They also have their Transcend two by four. This particular one is in the uh, Vintage Lantern and these work real well with the very versatile railings that they have. So let's get on to their best product, and this is their Trex Transcend Tropics in uh, Spiced Rum and Lava Rock. This may be the all-around best decking. It is very pretty, has great aesthetics. It's got the nice grain pattern on it. It's got the variegations with the streaking on it. Looks real nice, very durable, almost bulletproof as far as decking goes and uh, great color sell an awful lot of it this is one of my favorite deckings so let's get into the uh, the Trex railings this is the Trex railing there uh, it matches their accents decking comes in the four colors the uh, woodland brown Winchester gray Madeira and saddle colors it's been around for quite a while, so it's you know there's always a life cycle with these decking products, but it's a uh, it's a good strong composite railing. All right, this is their Transcend railing in white. Uh, 
My friend Kevin from Blue Star uses this railing pretty much all the time. It's got a great price point on it. Goes together really quickly. It's, uh, again, it's a very versatile railing and we're gonna show you the versatility of the railing. A few years ago, one of the Trex reps told me that people don't wanna have their deck looking like their neighbor's deck and the railing is the way that you're going to to have your own individuality on your railings. So uh, let's show you that. Okay, this one is the, uh, the Trex Universal Rail. As you can see from the, the side profile, it's pretty much the same top and bottom rail. It has a flat top on it so you can put the two by four. This particular one is in Madeira with the Madeira balusters and the Madeira post cap. You certainly can use the new Transcend colors that particular one is a vintage lantern, so you can have a dark brown baluster cap and a piece on the top. All right, this one is the Trex white universal rail with the flat top on it. This one has a piece of decking on it. Uh, sometimes they'll call it a drink rail or a party rail. You can use the piece of decking or you can use the two by six that we talked about earlier. Versatile. Your neighbor's not gonna have this same color, this same style railing. But let's look at this photo that I have here in the back. All right, this one is a, this was a Trex railing that uh, my buddy Sean from Curvy Deck made for me. And I had it up here and it was just too big, so I took a photo of it and just put it up on the screen. Uh, this shows the Trex lights. They have their cap light, their post light, their in-deck light, and their riser light. They, are, they have the six colors. They have the white gravel path, the charcoal black, vintage lantern, fire pit, and tree house. Real versatile railing. Okay, this one is my favorite of the Trex versatility rails. It has the black balusters. Let's look at another picture. Here's a deck that uh, Kevin from Blue Star did last year. Did it around this freeform pool. Sean from Curve Your Deck made the deck curve the same radius as the pool itself, so it came out great. What's really good about this rail is you really don't even see these balusters. You people say, well, they want a glass railing. Well, the glass has to be cleaned all the time, especially if you're on the ocean, you get a lot of salt mist that's got to be cleaned all the time. These you can see right through them. You don't really even see the black balusters. I have another photo here. This one is another one of Sean's, Sean's creations. It's right in the ocean. You can see they have the uh, lava rock and spice drum decking. The black balusters on the Trex rail, of course, it's right in the ocean. You're not going to get the salt spray that has to be cleaned up on it all the time. Got a great look. You can really see a lot of uh, great visuals with that. All right, this is the, uh, the Trex Rain Escapes. Uh, on a previous version of the Deck Network, we had Griff from Trex Rain Escapes, and he uh, showed us how it's used. Years ago, or for many years, people have been asking me, can you really make a deck waterproof? Well, if, your deck's, if the top deck's large enough, sure, you can make it waterproof, especially now, because this product is definitely waterproof. The way it overlaps, it has some redundancy to keep the water out. You have to make sure that you apply this before you put the decking on, though. So if you want to see more about this, uh, you can look up in the library on the Deck Network and uh, there's one for Trex Rain Escapes. You can really finish off the bottom of your deck really nicely with this product. All right, that wraps up our uh, quick video on the Trex decking railing and a little bit about the Rain Escapes. Other products that they have is the, uh, they have the metal framing. And if we can get someone from Trex to come by and do a demo for us, we certainly will do that because it's a real interesting product. I like it a lot. I'd like to, uh, we just, they're, I guess they're having a difficult time getting it all out to everybody. But uh, that's it for Trex. Remember, they were the industry pioneers. So pretty much every day we thank Trex for doing a great job and coming up with what they did. If you want to be on the Deck Network, you can write me at mike at the deck You can be right here or via Skype. Have a great day.